How do you make the best Yorkshire puddings? Very simple, three ingredients. Starts off with four eggs into a bowl. Whisk, we're not looking at aerating them, just breaking them up, okay? And then into that, 185 mils of whole milk. Then at this point, I'm gonna pour this mix into a jug. And then with this bowl, I'm gonna to add to it 225 grams of plain flour, okay? Now I've taken the liquid out and then put the dry in, okay? If you add the dry to the liquid, it all sits on the top and it takes quite a lot to get it mixed in and work together. Put about three quarters of the liquid in, just to soften it, look. And that's all you need to do, okay? We're not looking at whisking out all those lumps and bumps. There's no need to do that because once you put the rest of the wet mix in, mix it all together, you can see still quite lumpy and bumpy so that's absolutely fine so i'm just going to pour it into a container i'm going to leave that for eight hours 10 hours 12 hours overnight anything like that is preferable that's great so i have one that's been left in the fridge there's still a few little lumps and bumps in there but there is nothing to worry about there. they're going to cook out it's no worries it's not a problem now in here, I have my Yorkshire pudding tray in the oven, 200 degrees. It's been there for about 10 minutes, getting hot. Good splash of oil in the bottom, each little hole. And then the Yorkshire pudding mix, pour it into the middle. And you're doing it just over halfway, maybe two thirds full. Hot tray goes back in. We're going to bake them for longer than you think. Okay, so my Yorkshire puddings have been in the oven a little bit longer. They've been 35 minutes. Look at those. Crispy, crunchy, ready to go with your roast beef. Perfect little Yorkshire puddings.